In this video I'm going to show you how to label calculation point grids and statistical areas and show statistics. And then we'll fancy up the labels with a little box or in a leader or something like that. So I have three different calculation areas here, one, two, three, and then there's a separate statistical area that's within that calc area. So assuming you know how to do all that, let's go to the statistical area and we'll edit it and let's go to the labeling switch and we'll turn on the label and the summary and let's give it a text size of 5 okay so that normally would come in right here but I actually moved it previously so let me show you how to move it move the label put it wherever you want it okay so let's look at the calculation point grids alright so what we need to do now is edit the calc grid, go to labeling, and turn on summary, label, text size 5, okay. That drops in over at the lower left hand corner. Let's get another one. Let's go to that one. Labeling, summary, calculation points label, Okay, we're good there, and the last one. Summary, calculation points label. Okay, okay. So notice they sort of sit on top of each other. So now we need to move the labels. So this little command can be a little elusive. It's right here. Um, move calculation labels. Just click the label. Click a point to move from. Move the label. Right click click the label, point to move from, move the label. And we'll just leave that one where it is. Now if you want to dress it up a little bit, go to the drawings menu, let's select a rectangle. Let's draw a little rectangle around that one. Right click, draw another rectangle there, and then let's draw a couple leaders. So click a line, zoom in here a little bit, take that line over there simple enough. This line goes to here and I think you get the idea. If you want to clear the labels then what you need to do is come back to the calculations toolkit and for stat areas you would edit the stat area, select it, go to labeling and then just click this button clear labeling. And that's all there is to it. You can get rid of it. You'd have to delete the drawing entities using the drawing entity delete commands. Okay, hope that helps.